confusion surrounding Lynchburg's Poverty to Progress initiative. At the beginning of the year, city leaders vowed to work on moving 50 households out of poverty over the next five years. But as 10 News reporter Magda Lelousant explains, city leaders are now looking to revise that plan. About a quarter of Lynchburg citizens are living in poverty. Of that percentage, 30% of those figures reflect children. In March, the city endorsed a concept to move 50 households out of poverty for the next five years and hope that would decrease their numbers. The mayor tells me at the time they needed a metric system. Well, over the course of a year, we found that that number is very confusing. There are many organizations already working with individuals living and households living in poverty. The city's assistant manager brought the confusion to council's attention. He said people were taking the concept too literally. They began calling to sign up for the initiative. And that seemed to be taking away from the entire community-based thrust of the initiative. Council have decided to do away with the concept and shift their focus. City officials say they've set aside $50,000 for the Poverty to Progress initiative. $25,000 of that will be used to help the nine committees who are on the ground finding ways to fight poverty in the city. There we, our, our subgroup has uh, two uh, major initiatives. One, one of those initiatives is to look at those organizations, faith-based community groups that are providing uh, after-school tutoring and mentoring programs across the city. Some members of the education subcommittee want to use the tutoring partnership with Darrington and the Boys and Girls Club as a model to implement in other schools. The mayor says they will continue with their current efforts and wait for the new census to come out and see how their numbers will change. In Lynchburg, Magdalo Lusant, 10 News, working for you.